quiz four, number four. Here we have algebraic fractions being added together. So what we're going to want to do is find the LCD first, because when we add two fractions, we need to have a common denominator. And this is how we're going to build the least common denominator when we have algebraic fractions. First, take the entire first denominator. If it's not in factored form, you want to factor it first. Same with this other denominator, but both of these guys cannot be factored. So right away we take the entire first denominator, and then we look at the second denominator and see if it's contained yet in what we have written so far in the LCD. It's not. The quantity x plus 2 is not contained in x minus 2, so we need to put the second denominator there also. The LCD should contain each separate denominator completely without having extra pieces. So this is the LCD, x minus 2, x plus 2. Now what we need to do is make sure each fraction is rewritten using the LCD as a common denominator. So if we look at the first fraction, it already has an x minus 2, but it does not have an x plus 2. So we're going to multiply in an x plus 2 into the denominator. But that means we have to do it to the top also. We always balance fractions top to bottom. Second denominator has an x plus 2, but it does not have the x minus 2. So we're going to multiply it by x minus 2, which is okay as long as we balance the top. Now what we have is a single denominator, the LCD, x minus 2, x plus 2, and the numerator is x times x plus 2 plus 9 times x minus 2. Our next step is going to be to simplify the numerator, do any collecting like terms, and any factoring that we can to see if we can cancel with the denominator. So let's go ahead and distribute first x squared plus 2x, then distribute the second parentheses plus 9x minus 18 all over x minus 2x plus 2. And I need to switch sheets here and then we'll keep going. So again what we have is x squared plus 2x plus 9x minus 18 all over x take away 2 x plus 2 And now we're going to collect these like terms, the 2x and the 9x. So we get x squared plus 11x take away 18 over x take away 2, x plus 2. And now we want to factor the top because we'd like to see if we can get an x minus 2 or x plus 2 up here and cancel it with the bottom. So trinomial factoring factors of 18 are 9 times 2 and they're going to have to be opposite signs to get the minus here and we want them to add up to a positive 11. So 9 times 2 doesn't work, 18 times 1, that's not going to work, um, 6 times 3, that's not going to work either. So it looks like we're not going to get factoring to work here. So our final answer would be x squared plus 11x take away 18 all over the common denominator x take away 2, x plus 2. And you can also write this multiplied out on the bottom.